Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful resin beach tray. The very first thing she's doing is sealing the tray with gesso. In one of our first videos, I pronounced it gesso because it is spelled with a G, but a kind person on Reddit told me that it is in fact pronounced gesso. So she added some gesso along with some acrylic paint to do a base layer on the tray. This seals the tray so that no resin will seep through and adding some color with acrylics helps to create a nice background and is also very helpful to cover this home writing that is already on the tray. So with the paintbrush, she blends everything out in approximately how she wants her beach scene to look like. She comes back in a few hours when the gesso has completely dried and as you can see she's added some rocks and she's adding a little bit more and now she's going to be using these gold and bronze metallic powders. This is to add some of the sand color near the shoreline where the water will be which helps make it look more realistic. I'm also going to try and find all of the products that she's using on Amazon and I'm going to leave a link in my description. These will be affiliate links which would help support us to continue creating these videos and creating resin art so please do check that out in the description below. Now she's separating her resin into cups to add the pigments. Before she adds the pigments, she pours the clear resin onto the bottom of the tray where the sand is going to be. Then she takes her jar of sand and pours the sand directly on top of the resin. Once the tray was finished, my mom did mention that if she were to do it again, that she would put a thin layer of sand mixed with resin first, and then add the rocks, and then sprinkle sand where she felt that it needed more. The way that she did it here, the sand covered some of the rocks that she didn't want to be covered. Now she's going to be mixing in her pigments and the first pigment that she's using is acrylic ink in the shade turquoise deep. She adds a few drops and mixes it well for a few minutes and then pours some into another cup where she's going to be mixing pigments. She takes just resins pigment paste in the shade breakfast at Tiffany's and adds a little bit into that same cup with the turquoise deep acrylic ink. And she mixes the two pigments together and the resin for a few minutes. Again, make sure to check out my description to purchase these products. Now she's going to be adding a little bit of white pigmented resin and she's using Casting Craft. Now she's going to be using Vitrol's Transparent Ink in the shade Chartreuse. She shakes the bottle well before adding a little bit onto a wooden stick to then add into the cup with the casting craft. This is the third color that she's going to be mixing. She pours a little bit of the previous mixed turquoise deep alcohol ink into that same cup and mixes together well. And she decided to add a little bit more of the chartreuse ink to give it more of a green tone. She's wiping away some of the excess clear resin before she starts to pour her pigmented resin into the tray. She starts by pouring her darkest shade of blue at the top of the tray and the other colors follow. She pours the lightest at the bottom and with the makeup brush blends everything together. She's also now blending the sand into the resin and adding some small pebbles.
she adds more sand onto the top and then leaves the tray for 24 hours for the first layer to harden. Now that a day has gone by, she's ready to add her second layer. She places some new rocks and starts mixing in her pigments. She's going to be using Deep on D's Ghost Pearls in Heisenberg Blue and this will add a beautiful shimmer into the resin. She takes a small amount on a wooden stick and adds some into two of the cups. Now she's going to be mixing in her blues and the first thing she's using is Deep on D's Alcohol Ink in the shade Intense Teal. She adds a drop into two of the cups and now she's going to be using Just Resin's Dark Turquoise and these are all transparent pigments. She adds the dark turquoise into the first cup and mixes the two together. And she starts mixing the alcohol ink into the resin as well. She takes her clear resin and pours a line along the shoreline where she wants her wave to start. Then she fills in the rest of the area above with her transparent resin and she starts off using the intense teal and then uses the darker shade of the intense teal and deep turquoise mixed together for the top of the tray. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she's moving the torch gun in a quick manner to be careful not to burn the resin. Now she's using the same makeup brush that she used earlier and she's blending the resin together and making sure that it's reached all of the edges. She goes in with the torch gun again to pop any air bubbles and then she's going to be mixing in her white pigmented resin for the waves. She squeezes out some cast and craft and mixes that into the resin for a few minutes. Once it's mixed well, she allows it to sit for a little bit and then applies it onto the tray where she wants her waves to be. I recently posted a video on how to get lacing in coasters, so if you're looking for a more detailed process, make sure to check that out. She uses a heat gun to lightly fan out the waves. She goes back in with a little bit more of the white pigmented resin and she's using a wooden stick to carefully apply it. Then she uses the heat gun again to blow out the waves. When she's done with the heat gun, she uses a wooden stick to fix up the shoreline and add some more white pigmented resin where she feels that it's needed. She added a heat resistant top coat and again I have a video on that whole process and showing which brand we use so I will link that in the top right corner if you're interested feel free to check it out and here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Present Art.